Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to part 2 of our Windows Switcher's Guide to Elementary OS. In this part we'll cover the interface and some useful keyboard shortcuts. First, the desktop. This is pretty much identical to Windows, a wallpaper and an interface to interact with the system. First thing to note is, there are no icons on the desktop. You cannot place anything on the desktop in Elementary OS contrary to Windows. This decision was made to prevent over-accumulating files that are unsorted in a place that isn't meant to store them. On Elementary OS, it is recommended that you store files in the folders in your user directory named slash home slash your name. Second, the top panel. This bar is called Wink Panel. It stores your Applications menu, which allows you to search and open apps. Just click on Applications on the top left corner or hit Super plus Space. Super is the Windows key on your keyboard or the Command key if you're using a Mac. You can then view your installed programs by icons or in a category mode that filters them. To launch a program, just click on it, no double click required. The rest of the top panel hosts the date and time. Click on it to view a small calendar with all your appointments created in the default calendar application. Finally, on the far right, you'll see some icons, mainly those for sound, internet collection, Bluetooth, battery life on a laptop, the notifications icon, and the system menu to log out or shut down the computer. One handy tip is the to middle click, click with the mouse wheel, on one of the icons to disable it. For example, if you middle click on the sound, you will mute the sound on your system. If you middle click on the Bluetooth icon, you will disable Bluetooth. Third, the dock. This is the equivalent of your taskbar on Windows, except it only hosts the shortcuts to the apps you added to the dock and your open programs. To launch an app, just click on its icon. Right-clicking will bring a secondary menu with some additional actions depending on the program. Open apps are indicated with a blue dot underneath their icon. The active window is materialized by a blue hue at the bottom of its icon. A program with a red dot is a program that requires your attention, for example, a program with an open pop-up window. To add a program to the dock, open it with the Applications menu, then right-click its icon and select Keep in Dock. You can also drag an apps icon to the dock directly from the Applications menu. You can also rearrange icons by dragging and dropping, and remove apps by dragging them out of the dock. That's it for the basics of the interface. In our next part, we'll talk about managing Windows on elementary OS and using virtual desktops. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll hope to see you in the next part. Bye!